Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. We've uh, had an update to the game in between this episode and last. They've added mod tools and Steam Workshop support. So, I would imagine out there you're going to find uh, a number of series that um, they're going to be adding mods to the game. So, it's going to be kind of interesting. While I was tinkering around in between episodes, I was... I've got a couple of walls here to we can get rid of these because the hallway now extends. And I had clicked on a wall and I noticed something, though that doesn't show me now because I'm deconstructing it, but this little symbol's different. Was that there before? Was reconstruct a thing? I don't remember. I don't remember the red and green circle, but it apparently we're able to now rebuild something with a different kind of material, which means we could rebuild this freezer with carbon nanotubes and not have to tear the whole freezer down and start over the roof and what have you. I didn't, uh, maybe that was there, but it was a different symbol, but something struck me as being odd, you know, like I hadn't noticed that before. And there's a few other things I've found that I haven't noticed before. As many times as I have stared at screens like this, Loco pointed out, you know, it says right there, affected activities, hunting, butchering. So, uh, hunting, does trigger butchering. It's stated right there. <laughs> the liver is transporting and transporting. I wonder what they meant when they typed that in. And um, handle does rescuing, burying, carrying away, dismantling, and handling. Hmm. What about if I were, if I wanted them to move this furnace from there to here, it was listed as a construction job. So construction is repairing, deconstructing, constructing, and reconstructing. So is deconstructing and reconstructing their very convoluted way of saying, move the furnace? Maybe. Hmm. Anyway. And, um, let me read this. It ain't. Easy being seasy, wrote in. That's quite a name. <laughs> uh, I was pondering what to do with the furnace and what your thoughts were. And it was recommended that we just leave these here, just unplug them, let this guy do the work, because whatever temperature is in here, which right now is 31, is going to be in the freezers too. 39, 31. So if I were to unplug, turn off, turn off, uh, Paulette, when you're done, unless there's somebody else, read, uh, come on over here and handle these guys. Let's see if this takes on the temperature. You would think it would take on the temperature of the room already, but apparently not. Did that not happen? Rita, don't let me down. Kana. Or oh, was it Kana that I clicked on? I don't know anymore. Uh, waiting to be turned off. Kana, you get to do it. Handle, reserved by... Oh, well. All right. <clears throat> 39. And we'll go back to these later and see what they, what they ended up at. There's 36. So it is cooling down. 39. Anyway, the room is at 30. So this guy is taking it down. It's already below freezing. I don't know what he's going to be able to do in a heat wave. But one alone for a room this size is so far able to at least take it down to the freezing point um this guy as a fridge will hold rows of five so 20 items this shelf unit is the same size same footprint so if i had taken this out and put shelves in there it holds 15 items so we can put more into this same space by keeping these here so if we're going to do that i think i would like to just this last one deconstruct empty and deconstruct if you guys could get these moved out i'm going to move this guy to here and then we can put another row of shelves over there and take its place um what else is going on right now oh i decided to pop another balloon in <laughs> it would be advantageous to be able to take off to two different missions at once especially after an attack has just happened and we have enough fuel and we've got the the building finished enough and can spare them for a day nothing will often 
do their own things. So we'll get that one built eventually. Um, otherwise, turned on the back half of the building. Get that built. And what else is on the list? We do have smoke signals. Is that an old note or a new one? Security signal. That's the new one. Explore smoke signals. I guess that was an old one. Yeah. So I need to cross it off my list. So it's been a few days since I recorded. Been doing the, that renovation job and finally got a little bit of a break to, to play around for, for a couple hours. So security signal needs to be dealt with. Um, what would that be? Let's read that again. You crash emitting automated high frequency security signal characteristic of a spaceship's defense module. So potentially a dangerous one. I don't know that it is really a scavenging one, though it's probably one of those that gives you a choice of what you want to bring back. So is that a Rita or is that an Edmund? Hmm. Rita, of course, has the double advantage of being able to randomly observe something out here. In fact, it'd be nice to observe that tree right there because we're cutting down a lot of them and I'd like to replant some of those. So that's something that Simon or Omer is going to have to go off and, and uh, do some some observing. But let's send Rita, which although Rita, yeah, she's really needed in planting right now. We are just finishing spring, getting into summer. Yeah, I, in fact, not only can't, can't lose Rita, I need somebody else assigned to help her out. Um, no matter what are you researching right now? And let's go here first. In general, actually, in general, your happiness is horrible. Dude, go have something to eat. Go grab some grain porridge. And what are you researching? That's so important. You're doing leather armor, which might be kind of nice. That's right. Last episode, we talked about a hunt. I was thinking leather. So right up here, we have got a lot. Carter's already doing it. Okay, I had marked some in between episodes, and you've only got that guy. Hmm. Okay. Um, not a real gun. That's going to take you a while, isn't it? Yeah. Um, all right, so Rita's got the real gun. Edmund has got the pistol. All right, Edmund, why don't you come and give... Uh, you can't. It won't, the gun, the game won't let me have two people hunt the same animal. That's right. As soon as he gets angry at all these tiny little darts being stuck into his butt, he's going to turn around and gore Carter, isn't he? He is. It's going to happen any time now. Oh, man. Um, let's, Carter, have you just hunt him specifically. Can I do that? That is Carter, currently doing. So it doesn't say that he's got anything else queued up. I don't want him to sit out here and just hunt all day long. Do the one, bring the meat back, and call it done. We'll see if he can do that. Anyway, where was I? Uh, Edmund is building a balloon. I think Edmund's the one who's going to be taking off. Let's let him finish this. No, he's just clearing a construction site. Okay, so Edmund... How are you doing? You too! What? Are, am I missing something? Why is nobody eating on their own? That was strange. They're, they're practically starving. Alright, get in here and... Edmund. And eat some veggie soup. And... Do some happy things. And then I'll send you out on an expedition. Carter, are you about to die out there? No, you're you're kind of normal. More poo has rotted away. I get a lot of, of manure triggered out there to be picked up if if they get the, the command to do it. I'm not sending them out there specifically for it. But uh, it's been rotting. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did it, Carter. You got him mad. Better shoot him in the head. Ah, you had better run. Now, is it just one of them after you, or are they all after you? Yeah, miss that guy, too. His horns are huge. All right, hunt him. 
And one more. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> Do it again. And one more. Okay. You're going to need help doing this. This really is a uh, risk and meltdown kind of. This is a Rita job. We need a real gun to do this. There you go. Are you back to normal now? I think you are. Undraft. And you are appreciating a shroom torch. Well, let's get this finished. I guess I'll babysit you through it. But yeah, these uh, crossbows don't do a lot of good. It's probably time to, to get uh, moving closer to getting real guns on all of us. <clears throat> We've had a year and a quarter of pretty easy animal or bug attacks. So, all right, one, no, don't, don't go after another one. Butcher him, butcher him, and get back home, okay? Man. <laughs> anyway, where are we here? Edmund, appreciating a shroom torch, and you are hunting an orphan. And you actually have a gun that could do it, but I want to go ahead and do this. So Edmund, you are your happiness is heading way up there, so you're going to be okay. Let's get you out of here. Expedition to uh, security signal. Edmund, send. And Edmund, draft, undraft. We just researched leather armor on expedition. There you go. But did you get food? <clears throat> Whenever I do that, it kind of interrupts the ability for you to go grab a meal and take with you. I don't think you made the trip in. I don't think you did, unless you hit a stove. And I have no way to see what's in your inventory. I don't know if you've got food on you or not. Oh, it's kind of frustrating. So I'm going to cancel. I can do that from here. Cancel it. Okay, now you're going to go hunting again. All right, I need you to go and sit. And meanwhile, let's expedition. Do this again. Security. Edmund. Send. Escape. And... Now I'm going to watch. Yeah, you're not going to get food. Oh, well, dude, you're on your own. How far away is that? <clears throat> it is 10 hours. Hmm. Well, your fullness is 90%. I guess you're going on a fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Carter, you still alive up here? You are butchering and butchering. Let's get Simon, who is crafting. Ah, uh, boy. There it is. To come and grab hides. You grab those. <clears throat> Maybe by the time you get here, these hides will be available. Though I think they're too far away for you to uh, to notice them. Probably so. I'm probably never going to be able to get you to haul all of them home. Darn. Okay, well, <clears throat> it's not too far away, thankfully. So... We are already toward the end of the first day. Doesn't feel like I've done anything. Um, what's been happening down here? It would typically be Carter or Edmund who would have come down and reset traps. Connor, what are you doing? You are making clothes. And we really need them. Limit reach, not enough resources for shirts. And we can't make it out of leather. Okay. Uh, coats, limit is reach, limit, straw hats, so sweaters are paused, so all we need now, we need cotton. We really need cotton. Is there any cotton out here mature enough to be, uh, picked? You are not. Where else have I seen cotton? Well, the first batch of cotton was right here when we first started the game, and that did not grow back. So I think it's a one-time sort of thing, unless you didn't cut it and then it's there the next year I am not there's a little bit and you are not ready to harvest either okay so we could do feathers and turn that into cotton but I never found any feathers no 
I know there's none right near us. At least no, there's no birds. There's feathers somewhere over there. Where is there? Right? No, that's a poo. Where's a feather? Oh, that is it. Why is it? Oh, there's an X over it because I haven't made it available. Use. Okay. I could do something like that. Is there any chance there's any more in this area? Oh, there is. Right there. All right. Um, well, I was going to say, Kana, go out and reset all the traps. Simon is transporting. Edmund's gone. Carter is transporting. Meat. Um, Paulette is cooking. Four, six, two. And others. We've got four coffee and... 13 T. I think we can spare Paulette for a little bit. Paulette, can you come out here and let's see if I can randomly find that? Nope. Not going to happen. Can I get you to come out here and pick up this pile of <laughs> Paulette? All right there. Hall feathers. Thank you. You bring those in and Kana can turn those into cloth. Meanwhile, Kana handling. Can I get you instead to come out here and reset traps? Handle traps. Actually, no. Ha um, yeah. That's that's right. Handle traps and handle traps. And when you get down here, the bricks are already here. You can repair. One, two, three, four. And... In queue. So I guess everything's in queue already. And we've got all the traps? Looks like we've got all the traps. So you've got all of that on your task list. Uh, toxic ash. Mm-hmm. Every time we've had a toxic ash event, right at the end of it, we got an attack. <clears throat> That's how I finished the toxic ash event. So I'm kind of queuing into their... Uh, <laughs> their their tactics here. Anyway, it's never proved to be a particularly worrying event. Whatever negatives there are, they, they go away afterwards. So, not too concerned. Though I don't have anybody apparently directly set for delivering. Umayar, you got done with the leather armor. Now that we have some dry leather, dry leather, we can use it to make helmets, chest armor, pants, and boots. Other armor items provide better protection against blunt or piercing trauma than common clothes. So it's our next step up. That's what we can afford right now. Advanced research desk. Okay, that's pretty important. If I were to set you to deliver only for a while, would you deliver these... I think deliver is what I'm looking for. You are right down there. If I were to do that and reset you, would you come over here or would you go deliver things over there? Draft, undraft. Is there a chance I can get you to unload those shelves? No, you're going to go play the didgeridoo. <laughs> and I can't right click on it and get you to do anything. Um, I Store undesired items? Ooh, I've never seen that one before. Just like I also noticed something else I've never seen before. This shelf right... Actually, is it going to do it or is it going to prove me wrong? No. Click on the barrels or furnace. Yep. This is new I've never seen before. Mirror. Select another device to mirror its list of tasks. So it's kind of like a copy. Although there's a... Well, okay, a copy of its tasks. Um, you did it. Whoa. Dude, thank you. Can you tear those down? Yeah, I know. I keep interrupting you. All right, you're going to go do that. Simon's grabbing something to eat. And you should be able to tap through those pretty quick. Yep. Boom. And pause. Let's get you moved to here. And that's where you're going to live. and I, It's not quite as wide as this. I'm hoping, though, it'll still let them walk past. Wish I could extend that out a little bit longer, too. Mm, probably won't be able to get away with it. But 
Hopefully that works. It did let me move it, so I'm assuming it does, that means it works. Okay, so did I give you the command? Let's have you do that, and then I'll set you back to what you were doing before, which is there and there. That gets these moved. Perfect. Uh, blocked. You can't walk through there. Really? <clears throat> really? Okay. So if I were to draft you and tell you to go here, you can't do it. Interesting. <laughs> okay, okay. You, just you, empty and deconstruct. Empty and deconstruct. Umayar, can you do that and that? And then, can you deconstruct? Okay, you're going to block that one, or take that one out. And you're going to move those on the floor. And you're going to tear that down. And you're out of here. And you're going to go tell everybody about the traumatic experience you had when you were blocked in the freezer. Yep. <laughs> How's our freezer doing? We're at 35 degrees, so we're not quite freezing. Okay. So in the heat of a spring day, it cannot keep up. Which is why I wanted to move this, because if I need, did need to put a second one in, it was going to have to be on this wall somewhere. Or else it would be right there. Because this guy, copy, goes there? I think so. There's no advantage to putting it on this wall, because we're still going to hit the end, even though, even if I put the other one, the heat pump on the, on the wall back here. Yeah, I think that's the end of what we're going to be able to squeeze into here. So copy, rotate, and move you, and yeah, you're going there. And then I guess another heat pump goes in here. So copy. Is there any advantage as to where to put it? Let's think about this. It is 35 there. It is 35 all the way to the far corner, too. Yeah, nothing changes. So placement doesn't matter, unlike here, where placement does matter. The fireplace, we're at 87 right here. Drop down to 76. Drop down to 73. Now the bedrooms, this is 73 out front. This is 70. 70. 69. Even though right in front of this vent, it's, in, it's almost 90. Hmm. So the temperatures are still not making any logical sense at the moment. I do need this torn down so I can get this temperature into these two rooms. Didn't think about that before. I missed that. Um, Umayar is sitting down in rebellion right now. I'm not going to bug him again. Carter, when you're done eating, oh, your relaxation is tanked. It really has. Simon, you're crafting. I sent you off to go get something, didn't I? What was that? It was way... No, that was Paulette. I sent her off all the way out here to come back with only 40 there were wait a minute here there were 80 total where was that it's another 40 all the way out there yeah we're at the end of the day she wants to go to sleep and before long she's just gonna drop it on the ground isn't she I better just call it good as it is Anyway, who can I get before the end? Simon, when you're done, I want you to tear down. Not a sign. Deconstruct the door and then deconstruct the wall and deconstruct the wall. I think that's... It's called transporting. No, must be these two over here. Okay. Kana, I asked you to do some things and looks like you did it. Job is done. Okay. We now have... Vegetable... What? What? Oh, I guess we never did make vegetable oil before. Because we didn't have any more grain. Oh, that's a first. Okay. Vegetable oil. Liquid oil extracted from grain and used for cooking or in the production of other materials such as liquid fuel. Ah. And... I, that's right. I was going to get somebody to 
help Rita do some planting. Yeah, they went by too quick. Off on too many different uh, avenues here. Like, is anybody out here still hunting? Yeah, somebody went back and went hunting. This guy is pretty severely injured. What else is sitting out here? We have 28 hides and 49 raw meat. Edmund, haven't heard from you. You still alive out there? Okay, Kana's back. So Kana's drinking tea. And... I don't think enough got done back here to satisfy me. So... Simon went to bed. <laughs> Kana, when you're done, can you tear this wall down? Uh... Let's try that again. I do have the right one, right? Yeah. It's frustrating that you can't see the walls. So I don't know where some of the walls are. Let's deconstruct you and Kana. Set you to deconstruct that wall. Otherwise, we don't have a pathway through. And you are right there. Okay. So, Rita's back with another load of grain. She's been bringing in grain all afternoon. Um, I never did set this because we didn't finish this conversation. Looking at that green light right there. Let's, let's put you back over here. Copy, drop you in at that point. We need another, I think it's a CPU to make, put that one in. Um, so, we're going to be wavering between looks like we have a hallway now good wavering between um refrigeration and freezing and temperature in here otherwise sleeping 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 who else is out there paulette is still trying to get back i guess she was not the right person to send it's two in the morning and she is just crawling okay i'm giving up on you paulette go ahead and drop it and run in slow motion jog into sleep yeah Paulette's going to fall apart on me otherwise is that all of us now one two three four five and Paulette will be here six yeah that's all of us hmm so you're a copy of that so you already have the right things Generator turned on. That's what the noise was. Okay, so we drop below 50%. Uh, right at 50%. And it, it's going to turn back off again? Hmm. Yep, it just turned off. So we're going to cycle 50 to 51%. Bang, 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 bang. I bet you we are. <laughs> All right, Evan, what'd you find? An impressive sight greeted me as the balloon neared the crash site, an oval-shaped metal silhouette of an almost intact armory bay Ooh, in the middle of smashed debris and a ruined forest, still burning violently. Panicked animals trapped between the flames are trying to flee. Many more lie around already dead. I suspect that if left as is, the inside of the armory bay will build up pressure from the heat and burst. So, free barbecue. Butcher as many animals as you can. Or, the chance for survivors is small, but go look. It poses some risks. Put out the fire so we can visit and search the place later. Which unlocks an expedition. Hmm. So it's two or three. Look for survivors, which it probably won't give us. And we will have lost the other, but that sounds like the, the kind of decision that Edmund would have made you know try to save somebody first or lock it in so we can go back and find weapons hmm I think the odds of this being successful are probably pretty small so I think the wisest thing gameplay wise is to go for three because we could certainly use some weapons as we saw from Carter's pathetic hunting example earlier. So I'm going to say let's search the place later after the fires are out. Okay, so that's going to bring you back. Maybe you'll find something to bring back with you. Um, so that was that. Starting, 
where are we right now? Uh, three in the morning. Wow, what a scene there. Let me try to get up in the air a little bit. Or away from the trees. What do you make of that? Huh. That is something else. Is it like an aurora borealis on that planet? Magnetic storm affecting its, at the, uh, I assume, moon. So its atmosphere, if it even has an atmosphere. Paulette is still trying to make it in. She is going to hate me tomorrow. Oh, man. She's going to spit in my soup. <laughs> yeah, the generator is just going to cycle back and forth. Battery, 50%. When it hits 51. And it shuts down. Huh. Okay. That's kind of hard on an engine, but... And it starts up again. So, as soon as the sun hits and the solar panels start to activate, they should keep this from happening, but... This is going to be a nightly experience for us. It's good this thing isn't sitting back here by a bedroom window. All right, so we now have heat in these rooms. 56, 56. All the bedrooms are 56, 55. So they're all comparable. Hallway is in the 70s. Okay, so that is doable for summer. Winter, we may have to uh, get a little better than that. Cave dweller. Ah, carpeting. Housing. Flooring. Soft carpet. Put in there. And put in there. And technically we need to do that through the rest of the house too, but that will do for now. Alright, so what needs to get done today? The hunting wasn't all that successful. It really is kind of a Rita thing. Maybe I should have her walk out there and do the hunting and then go back to gardening and then let uh, somebody else, Simon or someone, butcher and uh, haul everything back. Might be best. Wonder if the toxic ash is doing anything to what was left on the ground out here. Where's the meat? Right there. And 85%. Already lost 15%. Um, this would be something that Pankoffs and whatnot would love to eat, too. Yeah. Simon, you could use a meal, but your relaxation is what? You're going to go stare at a shroom torch. When you're done, come back over here, and you're nearby. Where are you? Let's do it this way. Meats. Right there. So, Simon wants you to haul that. And this one needs butchering. So, someone like Carter or Edmund would have gotten the command on their own to go and butcher. But they'll probably instead, advanced research desk, probably instead get the command to go hunt. Which I need Rita to get ahead of them. So, let's make sure she's eating. She's playing. Then she's going to grab a meal. Anything just sitting in here? Uh, not in that one. There's no eat. Okay. So you will pop over. Actually, it could be any one of them. Eat bush fruit. Eat mm, veggie soup. And what's the condition of our soups? Foods. Worst one is 57%. Is there only one stack? Yeah. So let's get the veggie soups eaten up. And then I want you to come out here and hunt. And we'll say hunt. We'll get you with your railgun sniper to, let's see, temperatures to go and get the hunting done real quick. Edmund has an illness. Hmm. Um, 21 degrees. Whoa, are we that cold in here? Where am I looking? 21 indoors. So that chilled off really good at night. That's the first full night that it was running. I wonder how long that will hold through the day. Hmm. Anyway, um, so Rita is grabbing something to eat. 
And someone's got to get here and clean up this mess soon. But Now, you did the advanced research desk. Dedicated space for experiments and researching of new things. The wide range of electronic tools boosts the efficiency of the research researcher, speeding up the research progress. Ooh. In that case, let's see here. Edmund and Kana both have the perk of inspirational writer. So they can write stories and others, when they read them, will get a bonus. Let's move these desks into their rooms. Kana is here, right? Yeah. So this desk, move to Kana's bedroom. This desk, move to Edmund's bedroom. That's not Edmund's bedroom. So cancel, that's Paulette's bedroom. Uh, move to here. Like that. Okay. And Umayar, can you do the moving, please? Currently unavailable. Because you are not sure what you're doing. And you still can't. Wait, wait what? You are idling. So that you finish your path. And now can you... Huh. Can do it from over here. Why are the desks currently unavailable? I guess somebody else already has it uh, in their list of things to do. Maybe that's what's going on. So, Umayar, can you plant? You can. Why don't you go outside and plant some grain cob for Rita? Rita's going to be a little busy today. And I... Well, I need these things moved in order to... You're hunting an orphan. No, I need you to move. Ah, there we go. Move these so I can put the blueprint down for new desks. Playing darts. Paulette. Yeah, you're going to need all the help you can get. You're starting off at only 60% rest. So, Kana, you are heading in. So, we're, we're all reset down there. Be nice to get working on this again. We have enough materials. Wood is over 400. So it's just a matter of getting a hole over and get to work on it, but we're all doing other things right now. Um, wait for Edmund to get back. Anyway, um, Rita, harvesting. Let's cue you back in again. Come on up here and hunt. And then hunt. And then... Oh, it's so hard to get these guys sometimes. Hunt. Alright, so you're going to go do that. And Carter is moving them. And then we're going to get him to build a new research desk. And see just what this guy is all about. You're going to go... I guess there. And I don't think we need two of them now. We can have the others research from these if they absolutely need to, but... But uh, what was that noise? So what's with Edmund's illness? <clears throat> Six survivors need a bed. That's all we know about it. Okay, Edmund. You have blood poisoning. Oh, because you're out in the toxic ash. Okay. And it counts for you where you are as well. So you spent the night out in it. Oh, so it might not have been the best idea to have sent you out, huh? Okay, note to self. <laughs> yeah, Paulette's making foods. Kana's eating foods. And Carter's going to go out and butcher. Rita, hopefully, is going to stay one Olfen ahead of him and uh, take care of that. Umayar is planting. And I feel like we're missing somebody. Simon, where are you at? You are transporting. Okay, and then you're going to get something to eat. All right. <clears throat> So you need to be butchered, and these three need to be hunted. So this job should be done today. Though we're on our second day of Toxic Ash, which means we're going to get an attack. If it follows through to the, uh, the, the pattern we've had so far. So you are doing that. Let's have you now plant this one. I think we get more per space over here anyway. So we'll do a little more planting there. 
Your health is... Oh... Mild. Okay. Shortness of breath. Um, 10, 25, 25. Probably should bring you in soon. Simon's been out there for quite a while. Maybe that's what took Paulette so long getting back. He's got a fast walk speed, and he's taking a lot of time. So it's it's a health thing. Shortness of breath. Movement minus 25%. I see. So toxic ash really does kind of mess us up. It's, yeah, it's not permanent. But, so speaking of permanent, uh, Edmund, blood poisoning, health, and pain shortness of breath is the 10 25 25 pain is 35 percent which means your happiness is crushingly unhappy yeah we got to get you back soon and get you to bed i'll have paul at work on you are you anywhere nearby no but we do have olfen being hunted uh carter is transporting and we've taken this one down that one down and that one down Okay, now Rita is going to go harvest. Kana has been, I assume, outside by the red bar. Well, just in and out of the building. Okay. So, yeah, we're ready for this toxic ash to be done, that's for sure. But things need to be... We need to get to all the things anyway, if we can. But, Umayar... Let's let you finish this row, and I'll release you to get back inside, too. How are you doing otherwise? Happiness, you're heading down, but you're, you're still okay for the moment. Let's go ahead and send you home. You go play the didgeridoo and get happy again. Come on, Eben, where are you? Got to get you back before it's too late. Paulette, handling a cook stove by doing what? Seriously, by doing what? You want those five. <laughs> um, out of curiosity, can these be harvested? Harvest. Paula, can you harvest? Why don't you harvest all of these? You get those two? Yeah. You harvest all of these and bring them all back. And hopefully not have to do that over again. We'll see if you can... Pull that off. Am I making a mistake here? Food-wise, eh, we've got enough meals ahead of us. And it's only 1400 Hopefully you can pull that off. You didn't do too well last time, but... Waiting for that announcement of a bug attack. If it does hit, then I'll pull everybody in and make them all sit in chairs for a while and get their health back up. Carter's... a hey, Edmund's back. Okay. So you had... Oh, and Paulette's the one that would have treated him. Let's pull Paulette back. I think that maybe that's a mistake. We're going to have her just crawling back by the end of her assignment. So let's send her back. We'll let her work on Edmund. In fact, I'll just undraft and assign. Um, heal Edmund, currently doing. Okay, so she automatically got that command. And will she run to that? She will. Good. All right. She's the one that has the interest in healing, so that will give her a chance to... Berries. <laughs> oh. Did he... He grabbed berries from here. That's why it looked like he didn't get any food. Okay. But that will give her more training in medical. So it's best if she does it. In fact, let's watch this happen. Does she... I didn't see her drop by here and grab antibiotics or anything. He, illness is no longer here, and you're done. Okay, so what do we got here? Edmund, crushingly unhappy. Um, brain damage slight. Oh, that was from his brain parasites, something like that. Otherwise, he looks, he just needs some recuperating in bed, and he needs a lot of sleep anyway, right? Yeah, so he's going to sleep the rest of the day. And that's fine. So Paulette suddenly doesn't want to make tea anymore. She's going to make pies, and that's even better. And Simon is out here. Uh, Khan is handling a furnace. Rita is harvesting, getting more grain. 
So grain is good for this, which is running. Good. We're making lots of uh, moonshine, which is good for Paulette to cook with. And fermentation barrels are making more antibiotics. Good. This one is queued up. We want 50 in stock at all times. So somebody like like uh, Simon will keep those going. He's apparently on transporting. Carter's grabbing food. Paulette's making food. Umiar is researching. Ah, so Carter, when you're done, let's get... Oh, we can't. We can? It should say no. not of resources are available. Electronics 3. Did I miss something? Uh, insufficient materials. Eight electronics. So we can't build it. Okay. Um, we could try doing some more random scavenging for it. Though we do have toxic ash. Just looking to see who's out. Rita's the only one that's out. No red bar under her. Health is still 190 of 190. Khan is out. She is off trying to find something. What's she after? Um, okay. You are, hey, your sticks. Your sticks. Is she going to grab just what she needs or is she going to grab it all? Let's see what she does. Not having been told to do either, but doing it entirely on her own. She's going to grab everything. Good. Okay. And. Paulette is still handling her cook stove all the way out there. Mm. Let's move tea to a different order for now and have her do something different. So is this the one that's doing it? No. This one. Tea, number one. Let's work on coffee. Uh, take you down and take you down. Let's work on fruitcakes. So Paulette, let's... Actually, let's just cook some fruitcakes. And so, oh, that's been sitting there for a while. Good. You can bring those in. In fact, it has been sitting there for a while. Yeah, well, still 87%. We're okay. And speaking of sitting out for a while, whatever happened to all of the butchering out here? How much of our stuff is going to be eaten by other critters tonight? So butchering, we are losing some of our goods here, aren't we? So what is out here? In that area, there's no. There are hides. This area, there's no meat, and there was one up in here, right? I don't know if I got butchered or not. Oh, it's up here. Okay. So I need to send somebody. Umiar, can you come up and butcher? Reserved by Carter. All right, then come on up and butcher. Reserved by Edmund. Really? Going up here and butcher. Edmund, what are you doing? You're already. Halfway there. Um, no. Your happiness is zero. Your relaxation is zero. Come up here. Grab a meal. Uh, eat some grain porridge. Play on this one. And play on that one. Alright. You go and don't break on me. Alright. So, Simon. Let's grab you. To go and butcher this last one. Uh, this one, right? Umiar. There we go. You do that one. Bring at least the meat home, and we'll go off and get the, the hides again later. Alright. Rita is still harvesting. Rita's health is actually still pretty good. Toxic ash is still happening. Kana, what are you up to? You're still handling that furnace. Oh, you grabbed all of the sticks. Alright. So that puts sticks back into our inventory. Down here, we do need to get this lightning rod installed, but it's not a critical thing. I say that, and we'll have the next thunderstorm. Yeah, Arita is bringing in lots and lots of grain cob. And that is good. So we're going to fill these up to overflowing, right? Three spaces left, four spaces left, but the whole room... Yeah, 38. So we're still refrigerator temperature. So yeah, we're going to oscillate refrigerator to freezer day and night until the next heat wave. Then we're in trouble. Yeah, then we are kind of in trouble. 
Maybe next episode, if everybody's back and the toxic ash goes away, maybe we'll make that trip over there, take out a bug nest, start researching carbon nanotubes, mine a bunch, and before the first massive heat wave that hits this summer, maybe we can rebuild some of these walls. Might be faster than actually making or finding all the electronics. It's possible. Edmund's going to melt down, but he just had his meal, and he's going to go and play, and he'll be fine. So Kana is still handling furnaces. Kana, you've been working all day long. How you doing? Not bad. You're up there for happiness. So, health check on everyone. Carter is 100% happy. Paulette enjoys what she's doing. She needs to sleep. because She didn't get much sleep last night, but that comes up here in the next hour. Rita... Paulette reached cooking seven and she's off to sleep. <laughs> Rita, you are... You look like you've, you've had a long, exhausting day is what you are. Simon, you're up here on your happiness and you're getting caught up on things. No, you're up there. Yeah, you're transport... Oh, they're all transporting meat. Good, 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 good. Uh, you're all going to transport the meat to... to here, which already has... You can get 70 more in there. So, of the rest of it, it's going to go into the freezer and go directly into, oh, some kind of a fruitcake. Some kind of a, uh, of a, not meat pie. Now, what am I thinking of? Uh, right there. Meat stew, maybe? What was the thing? There's another one that I haven't put in yet. Because they didn't have all the parts. Uh, sweet meats. We can do that now. Ooh. So let's do until there's four. That's kind of the pattern I'm doing for the foods. And it seems like there was somebody who really liked sweet meats. Am I right or wrong? Uh, Umar likes bread. Kana likes veggie stew. Edmund likes buttermelon pie. Simon likes meat pie. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. And uh, Rita also likes meat pie, so we've got to make sure that meat pie is up near the top of one of these stoves. Let's take you a little higher up. Meat pie, you'll be number one when meat actually exists, which is what's going to be rolling in here pretty soon. And then Paulette likes smoking, and which have we ever really successfully got that going yet? I don't know. Carter, you like bread. Smoking means we've got smoked tobacco or, you know, leaves on a shelf somewhere. You are poo. <laughs> it would be... It, might, it would be in here. We have five. And then we actually have a pipe. Which would be... Here? I don't know if we have a pipe or not. What would that be considered? Is that a crafting material? Raw fabrics, other. It would be other. Uh, pipes, zero. I know we've made pipes before. That doesn't get used up, does it? Um, okay, let's grab the other bench. There. No. What am I not seeing? There you are over here. I wonder if they get used up. They're not even in my list anymore. Interesting. I'll have to take another look at that, see what's going on. Are these a one-time shot? I don't know. If it is, then forget it. Until we have two. Let's see what happens there. Anyway, I have a feeling we're near the end of a day. Edmund's going to sleep. Paulette, dog's coming in. Dog, how are you doing? You... Still managed to have some food, even though nobody said for ranching. That's a good thing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get Rita moved back into ranching for a while until she fills up his uh, his bowl. So ranch number one. Okay. Otherwise, Kana is grabbing something to eat and going to bed. Uh, do we have a carter? You guys are all still crawling in. Yeah, transporting your meats. Simon already made it in that's Simon there who was the other one that was out there 
Uh, Edmund didn't. Umayar, maybe. Yeah, you're all the way up here. Are you going to make it at all? We're at one in the morning. I have a feeling you're, uh, you're not going to make it. How are you doing health-wise? You're fine. Shortness of breath, which is causing your movement to slow way down. Otherwise, your stats are still decent. Okay, we'll leave you alone. You'll make it. So, Simon is still crawling in. Otherwise, I think we are done. You just fired up, so we're going to spend the night short cycling here. That's a shame. Could use another solar panel to, to kind of be able to, capable of filling the battery up each day. Anyway, I think we've got enough excitement in to call this episode done. They're winding down and going to bed. So I guess I will see you when I see you. So thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye now.